Dallas Jenkins, the creator of The Chosen, just did a surprise live stream two days ago to answer questions about the season four streaming release for The Chosen. Now, in that video, he said, I want to tell you right up front, I can't talk details about the legal matters. I just can't. As in, literally cannot, as in literally will not. But that didn't stop him from giving us a few new updates on where we can watch season four right now, a time frame for when season four will be coming to streaming. As my, I'm doing, we're doing the best we can, but we don't have a date just yet. And some updates for season five filming and details about season five script. So without further ado, hello, my name is Eli Hollingsworth. Welcome back to Against the Current and the Chosen podcast. And let's go ahead and roll that intro. <laughs> So if you aren't aware and you've been in the Chosen community and you've been living under a rock for the past few weeks, Dallas Jenkins released a video about uh, two weeks ago now explaining that the Chosen Season 4 is going to be delayed from its streaming release. Now, we never got one initially, so this isn't the worst news, but he just says it's going to take longer than they originally thought. After this, an article by Newsweek was posted explaining some legal troubles between the Chosen and Angel Studios. Some legal things are going on with them right now at Angel Studios and The Chosen are currently in arbitration, which means that they are trying to solve their differences and their issues that they're working out together outside of court. There's no lawsuit or any big trouble going on right now. If you want to see my full details on that video, I've made two videos. The past few videos have been talking about this kind of thing, but Dallas Jenkins just did a live stream on Thursday and he gave us some pretty interesting updates, so we're going to go through them in today's video. So first of all, the first thing you can do right now to maybe subside the sting of waiting for the Chosen Season 4 stream release is if you're a DVD person, which means if you're over the age of like 70 years old, I'm just kidding, you can pre-order the Season 4 DVD right now on thechosengifts.com. That is a way that you can maybe, you know, trick yourself into being a little closer to getting Season 4 for yourself at home, and the DVDs won't be sent out until the Chosen Season 4 comes to streaming, or the very least when they announce the streaming release date. So still, you can just go ahead and pre-order the DVDs. Obviously, right now, they're also doing, if you go to comeandsee.net slash church, they're showing the Chosen Season 4. You can sign up to have it shown at your local church, or you can find a church that's doing it, and it's being shown in prisons as well, but I don't think that applies to anyone here as Dallas said. <laughs> and the Chosen Season 4 is coming back to theaters. So... On March 28th, 29th, and 30th, they're going to be re-showing episodes 1 through 3, 4 through 6, and 7 through 8, the season finale. You can go ahead and purchase those tickets for a much discounted price. Before, it was like $15 per showing, which is what I paid and which is why I went broke in the month of February. Uh, so that's about $45 in total for wanting to go see all episodes. For this current showing, they're doing, I think at Cinemark, it's $30 for all three. So you can go ahead and buy all three at once. And at Fandango, you can use a discount code that chose the season four, which gives you a massive, I think, half off discount. And at Marcus Theaters, which I don't personally, I have Fandango, but at Marcus Theaters, they're doing $15 for all three, which is a insane discount. That's about $5 per showing. So... You know, if you want to see The Chosen Season 4 in theaters around Easter time, because right as the season's finale ends, we know that it ties in heavily to the Easter stuff. So, very, very exciting. So, those are ways that you can see it right now, and we're still unclear when the Season 4 release is coming, but as comments that Dallas made in this live stream, he pointed out the fact that it doesn't seem like it's going to take very long at all. It shouldn't take a drastic amount of time, even like maybe a month or something. He made it sound like it should be these legal matters should be wrapped up, you know, pretty pretty soon. So that's exciting. That's exciting news. He seemed very confident that this is not going to take that long. 70 days of filming is what's currently scheduled. We need to, my producer is telling me uh, emphatically, it has to get down to 69. You can't do 70 days of filming. Uh, it's, we can't afford it. So uh, we are trying to lose a day of our schedule right now. So we're gonna get, uh, it should be 69 days. We'll be in Utah for six weeks. And then we will be uh, in Texas for the remainder. He also confirmed that there's going to be 70 days of filming for The Chosen Season 5, which is about how many there were for Season 4, give or take, if they have to reshoot stuff or if they have to reschedule due to weather or other unforeseen conditions. 70 days is about plan for Season 5, which is about how many days we had for The Chosen Season 4. So that is very exciting. Dallas also asked for our prayers because he says that this is the most overwhelming time in his life right now. So just personally, on a personal level my prayers go out to dallas and his family i know that they're dealing with so much right now and he just recently opened up on facebook about how sometimes he feels alone in this process which is something that i've never heard him talk about before and i'm sure that he is going through so 
much right now because he has to deal with so many things with the release of his movie, The Greatest Christmas Pageant Ever, doing the shows in season five, trying to get the streaming release for season four sorted out. Him, Tyler Thompson, and Ryan Swanson, the three writers for The Chosen, are about to go on their annual uh, retreat out into the wilderness and just without no phones, just go and, and go up and be alone and come to the end of themselves so they can focus on writing The Chosen seasons six and seven. So they do ask for prayers in that manner as well. So we should be praying for them in that respect and also for Dallas and his family with his kids, all the stuff that he has to deal with constantly, challenges he's facing in making this show and getting the authentic Jesus to one billion people. Uh, after all season seven seasons are completed, I'm going to be taking a nap for about a year. Now, Dallas Jenkins was also asked if he has any plans to do spinoffs or other Bible stories after seven seasons of The Chosen. And he said that he's basically focusing on one thing at a time right now. He's really focusing on The Chosen that has all of his energy and attention, which makes sense because it takes a lot of energy and attention to create such a fantastic show. But he definitely confirmed that he is totally open to doing spinoffs such as maybe the Book of Acts or other Bible stories. And as we talked about on another video, which you can check out on my channel, Dallas is partnering with Amazon to start a new thing called The Wonder Project to bring more Bible stories to life. Starting off with a TV show about King David. Will you give us a will you give us depression after you leave season six on a cliffhanger? <laughs> yes. Dallas also confirmed that for season six, the ending is not going to be pretty. Since, we, as we know, if you didn't know, season six is going to deal with Jesus' crucifixion. We know that that is the season where those events will transpire. Season seven is the resurrection. Dallas confirmed that season six will be no happy, you know, safe and comfortable realm to live in. We're going to have to live in a lot of despair and pain until we wait for season seven. So that'll be probably similar to an Infinity War Endgame situation where, if you didn't know, Avengers Infinity War ended on a huge cliffhanger. And then a year later was when Avengers Endgame came out. So since the shows and seasons take a year, uh, season six is going to end on a downer. Then we're going to have to wait a year before we see season seven in the fulfillment of everything and the resurrection and all of the happy stuff that comes with that. But we're going to have to wait in our sorrow for a little while. So we are covering in season five the most important week in history. Season six is the most important day in history. So uh, season five, uh, of course, Holy Week, you know, some of the big moments that happen in season five. Uh, one of them in particular is going to be some, is going to have some fun. Uh, but yeah, this is when the plot thickens. Dallas was also asked what we can expect from season five, and he gave details such as Lazarus is currently in hiding at the time that season five transpires. He also made it very clear that they're planning to do Jesus turning over the tables. If you don't know, there's an event that happens at Holy Work where Jesus comes into the temple and sees a lot of debauchery and, you know, just kind of greediness going on in the temple. It gets very angry and starts turning over tables and whipping people and driving everybody out of the temple. And that's a very interesting scene that takes place in the Bible during Holy Week. And now it's basically confirmed that we're definitely going to see that scene in the chosen season five as he says well it is holy week and we know jesus did something pretty intense in holy week would that be a good scene for a tv show i think that would be a good scene for a tv show he confirms that they really focus on the last supper but also how jesus is feeling as he's approaching his impending death and how his disciples are not getting it more of the stuff that, that's continuing that we saw in season four so a lot of interesting things happen there he was also asked about one Nicodemus, someone who was in season one and we haven't seen since and just have been, they've been giving excuses like he's way on a research trip or he's sick or, you know, something like that. And finally, Dallas pretty much seemed to confirm that Nicodemus is going to be coming back in The Chosen season five because he does it is there at Holy Week and uh, it's the Passover week and everybody is in Jerusalem. So first of all, it makes perfect sense that Nicodemus would be there and he's mentioned in an event in the Bible. We are doing a Chosen Con. Uh, I will have the details for you very soon. Uh, we'll announce that, how you can get tickets. But yes, be ready for that. Stay tuned to our social media. This is why you want to be on our social media so you don't miss opportunities like this. But We will be doing a Chosen Con even bigger than last year. It will be in the fall of this year. You also seem to allude to the fact that Chosen Con is going to be on the East Coast this this year. And if you didn't know, last year they had a Chosen Insiders Conference, which was very fun, very exciting, and one of my favorite things that I've ever been to and a part of. And uh, they're doing another one this year, and it's going to be bigger. And he pretty much confirmed that it's going to be on the East Coast this time, which is great for me. I live in South Florida, so hopefully it'll be closer to where I am. That's very exciting as well. 
So if you missed the live stream, there are basically the main highlights, the main teases, the main details that Dallas gave from this live stream, talking about what's going to be coming in Season 5, some things we can expect, ways that we can pray for Dallas as he's going through a lot of difficulty and challenges, and he's working through a lot of things right now, and when the Season 4 release date for the streaming should be coming, it should be coming soon. And I promise that it should be here not very long. It's not going to take that long of time. So we just need to be patient, and as a chosen community... Again, this is all a privilege for us. It's a privilege that the show is free in general. It's not mean or, you know, not nice of them to just hold back the streaming from us and, you know, just put it in theaters or make it to where, you know, not everyone can go see it in theaters. It's actually beyond generous of them that we get to watch a show for completely free. No sign up or payment required just being able to watch a TV show. Just if you have a phone or a device to watch things on, that's beyond generous of them. So any kinks or problems that they need to work out we need to be completely willing to stand by them and i am completely willing to be patient and wait for all of this to get resolved so what do you think of all of this be sure to let me know down below in the comments uh how how hyped are you to see the chosen season four on streaming have you seen it in theaters will you check it out easter weekend Uh, let me know all that stuff down below in the comments and i'll see you guys in my next video binge jesus